watching this YouTube video, but Victorian hair care, wherein the woman testing the products out inhales so much alcohol fumes, she gets tipsy and that's joining lead in everything. Oh. <laughs> Corsets and doctors who cured hysteria with foam. What? <laughs> in reasons why Victorian women love fainting. That is an amazing name for something. Oh my gosh. Me, walking out of my fainting room after getting my back blown out by a medical professional face covered in lead makeup walls emerald green. Also containing lead. Hi on Michael Kane. Michael Kane. Michael Kane. <laughs> I was prescribed for allergies, tightening my corset. Archibald, darling, I am seeing ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> to be a Victorian woman. <laughs> What's up my beardos and weirdos? One topic here in today, I just woke up from a nap, but none of you are gonna judge me because I wanted to record a video today and the only way we're gonna get a video is if I record it right after taking a nap, so I took a nap, so none of you are gonna say anything about it. Right? You know what? Comments on this video, illegal. You better be saying absolutely nothing in the comments about me taking a nap before starting this video. Thank you. And also, thank you to everyone who's been subscribing lately and becoming roommates of the channel. And of course, as roommates of the channel, we all share a Netflix password now. <laughs> Today, we're diving into r slash witches versus patriarchy. I read a comment and I cannot get it out of my head. So I just, I have to share it with you. Apparently <laughs> when I say r slash, all they hear is r slash. <sighs> I don't know what to do with this info, but now I don't have to do anything with it because it's yours. You deal with it. <laughs> all right. Let's get started. The term girlfriend implies the existence of a girl foe. This is a service I am willing to provide. <gasps> they buried her in such a pretty dress. <laughs> Thanks, it has pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Salem, 1692. Man! My family depends on me for survival. A woman! Oh, that's nice. I live by myself and I'm fine. Man. <gasps> A witch. <laughs> Maybe we should have been burning men at the stake. <laughs> if your truck didn't come with nuts and you put nuts on that truck, you've just done gender reassignment surgery on your truck. And you're a liberal. <laughs> <laughs> Get regged. <laughs> no one. Hmm. Patriarchy. You know, women used to give birth in fields with no pain meds. It's what your body is meant to do. Women. Well, Frank, men used to fight off wolves and hunt for food with spears, and yet y'all can't even handle the grocery store with a clear list from your wife. <laughs> Aw, sometimes I mess up the list, but that's just because I'm dyslexic. <laughs> Hope on that grocery store list, your wife helped you add burn care meds. <laughs> Um, a male president? I don't know. What if he gets a pedonator and we have another cold war? What if a girl rejects him and he goes on a killing spree? What if he sleeps with one of the interns? You know how men can't help themselves. What if he gets kicked in the balls? I hear that's worse than menstruation even. <laughs> Harvey Dent. Can we trust him? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Women need the boundaries of the patriarchy and a mission in life. Which is usually a husband. Hopefully me one day. Children and a home. Absent such structure, they malfunction and destroy civilization. <laughs> Hashtag restore page. Retweet if you're currently malfunctioning and destroying civilizations. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> he was so steadfast in that. He thought that was such a sick burn. Nope. <laughs> mm. To survive this labyrinth, I'm going to trail a little bit of wool behind me. Ooh, just really carefully, daintily along it. <gasps> <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Crafty Minotaur. I snorted so f hard, oh my god. When you're not sure how to use your multi-dimensional gifts yet, so you improvise. Nude, psychic readings, and tax advice. <laughs> it's what's inside that makes you beautiful. The demon possessing my body. <laughs> Blushes. Aww. <laughs> Everyone out there, make sure you compliment your inner demon today. Your inner demon is very pretty. Instructions. This spell requires hand harvested herbs from your local woods. Me. This spell gonna take whatever herbs I have in my cupboard and be happy about it. <laughs> Wanna manifest the perfect man? Pull the high priestess from your tarot card deck and sleep with her under your pillow or next to your bed. She'll come to you in your sleep and tell you, you don't need no f 
fucking man. You're independent, sis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My favorite type of folktale is man disrespects magic woman's one fucking boundary. Perishes. Today, I learned that, according to the Texas Penal Code, CH4332F, it's illegal for someone to own six or more tile toes. Oh my gosh. Regardless of how small the tile toe is. Oh. Why? <laughs> I also learned there's no limit on the number of firearms someone can own. Oh. Regardless of how small their penis is. Ah, oh, yes! Degeneracy starts at the sixth dial dough! <laughs> Five? Oh, that's all fine, good, and wholesome. <gasps> but six? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, would you look at that? It's my last. <laughs> oh, look, it's on fire. <laughs> When you're having a bad day and a random dude tells you to smile. When you have a bad day and you <laughs> <laughs> What the fudge? <laughs> me, as a witch. Girl, is that a f***ing mop? Fight me, Griselda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in this economy, it's multi-purpose. <laughs> I want a cicada on one arm and a crayfish on the other. Uh, tattoos, I mean. I'm not like taking a couple of invertebrates out on the town. <laughs> well, why not? <laughs> One nice bug per day. I'm starting to think it's not a person running that account. <laughs> when you're an infernal demon eternally stoking the fires of the pit. But you also like pretty dresses. <gasps> Fellas, it has pockets. <laughs> All bodies are miracles. Every day I get down on my knees and I pray to God and say, Dear God, thank you for this meat sculpture you have imprisoned my immortal soul in. I will find a witch to undo your curse. And when I am released, we'll see who's my two now, you son of a I wish you luck on your quest. I had I'm half really an Oreo, an energy sleep, drink, and, and an I Oreo don't know if I'm, I'm ready to, to fight, fight God, God or become him! <laughs> and I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and its rider's name was Death. Onward, Buttercup! There are shenanigans and f***ery ahead! Do you think about death often? <sighs> I do. Mm. <laughs> oh, noises. Wow. Noises. <laughs> wow. These are the noises wow. of dating. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of people post on Reddit in completely unrelated situations. Noises of something, noises of something. These are the noises of something. No like tags, no mentions where it came from. It's just beautiful how that's just spreading across the internet. It's <laughs> Mankind wasn't meant to work in December. We were meant to hide from wolves, drink, and pray our autumn harvest will last us through the dark months. Reject modernity. Return to the dark months. <laughs> when you finally open your third eye and see that you're the problem. Oh, what the f Rude. Crypto is over. This is the year of cryptic currency. Pay for your groceries with a mumbling prophecy and a cursed stone. Animorphs. And they thought he was dead. <gasps> they were wrong. It's the third day and I'm here to break bread and take vengeance on my enemies. And I'm all out of bread. <laughs> Pew! Jesus, the second coming. <laughs> yeah, I'd watch that. <laughs> I randomly wandered into an art gallery with live music and a full cheese spread and I'm going ape. Um, if you eat it, the fate own you though. <laughs> That's the phase problem. <laughs> if you were saying that, you've clearly got more bravado than sense. I don't have either, actually. <laughs> I just have an empty stomach and the ability to make my presence everyone's problem. <laughs> That's the phase problem is on the same level of response as bold of you to assume I have blood. And I love it. Thank you. <laughs> <gasps> don't eat glitter. <laughs> yeah, I sure hope you don't. <laughs> Little sparkly poo. <laughs> Me! Is there a spirit in my house? Luigi board! Slides to yes. Me! Oh, great! Haha! <laughs> Caught you! Your portion of the rent is $6.50. It's due on the first of the month. Weggy board! <laughs> I said this before and I think I'll say it again. <laughs> I don't know of a single millennial that were they to be able to come into possession of a property, let alone a home, they're not gonna leave that thing if it's haunted. That is a unique boomer experience where they have such disposable income where they can just buy a house and two weeks later they'll be like um 
Nah, there's ghosts here. We're gonna leave. <laughs> the rest of us out here, charge them rent. <laughs> At least get them to do chores or something. They're moving stuff around anyways, why not? <laughs> One of the hardest decisions in a woman's life is whether she wants to spend her final years in a wooden hut with chickens laying eggs. Chicken le Chicken legs? Oh, Baba Yaga. <laughs> Solving murders in the English countryside or running a haunted Japanese bathhouse. Oh, why do you get the cool retirement plans? <laughs> oh, maybe I'll get murdered in the English countryside. The witch will come visit me. <laughs> Fun. Vampire becomes an archaeologist because he lost his favorite necklace 1500 years ago whilst grave robbing and wants to make sure he gets it back before some puts it in a museum. <laughs> Then he realizes his fellow archaeologist found it on the site and put it in his own house. So he has to <gasps> he has to finagle his way into becoming that person's roommate. <gasps> and then when he does, they fall in love and he doesn't want the necklace back anyways. I'd watch it. <laughs> this is the kind of world atheists want. <gasps> Dinosaurs. <laughs> Fun fact, my cat and I are both blind. So we accidentally run into each other sometimes. But because I'm much louder than he is, when we get close to each other, he chirps to warn me he's there. Thank you for sharing this beautiful solidarity. A demon that writes messages on your mirror with blood. But they're useful messages. Like, remember you have yoga at six tonight. <laughs> you need to leave him, Karen. Emerald's house made of puppies was less effective at luring children than her later candy designs. Wait, is that, is that little bits of poo? Is that... Is that tiny poo all around the house? Why is there so much little poo? Christians say not to practice witchcraft or astrology, but celebrate the resurrection of a dead guy on the Sunday after the first full moon of the equinox. And they drink wine and bread as his blood and body and enchant over their animal sacrifices before they feast. <laughs> okay, let's see. Whoa! <laughs> oh, it must have been a while. <laughs> oh no, that was just my boyfriend. <laughs> War and peace! Some strong female characters that inspire me. Fut 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 fut. <laughs> I love alien. <laughs> People talk about caterpillars becoming butterflies as though they just go into a cocoon, slap on wings, and are good to go. Caterpillars have to dissolve into a disgusting pile of goo to become butterflies. So if you're a mess wrapped up in blankets right now, keep going. Oh. It's like Mothra becoming Mothra after being caterpillar. <laughs> I just saw a Chinese source describe asexuality as those who are immune to the sexual attractiveness of others. And that's pretty bad. Yeah, we stand our asexual witches. <laughs> Me! Whenever a woman in Greek myth gets fed up and destroys the men who've caused her trauma. Good for her. Go little rock star. <laughs> Isolating yourself in a cabin in the woods while the townspeople fear you is self-care. <laughs> hey girl, wanna come over and make some magic punch? Yeah, I got some old vegetables that'll turn soon. Isn't that right, Alfred? <gasps> Girls night! <laughs> Be the villain you were born to be. Stop waiting for someone to come along and corrupt you. Succumb to the darkness yourself. <laughs> Surprisingly motivating. Yeah, you feed your inner demon. Tell her they're pretty. September 30th. Mink. October 1st. <laughs> <laughs> to abolish the patriarchy once and for all. Raise your wand, sisters. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you even plug it in? We're in the woods! I don't know, magic. <laughs> hey, Lilith! <laughs> did it hurt <laughs> when you fell from heaven? Ciao! <laughs> I am from hell! Ciao! I guess I'll see myself out. <laughs> Cucumbers can be planted anytime in May after the danger of frost is past. Folklore has it to protect them from insects, they should be planted on May 1st. The old pagan holiday of Beltane. Before sunup. For best results, they should be planted by a naked young man. <laughs> For no reason. It's, it's, we just think it's a good idea. <laughs> For some millennial women, Lord of the Rings has become a treasured part of the comfort watch genre. Nothing feels unsafe because the good guys are all actually good. 
When I was a kid, I adored Aragorn. So much so that I went to a hairdresser's with printed out pictures of Aragorn and said, can I have this haircut, please? <laughs> I was so hopeful and it was so not the cut I received. That memory has haunted me for so long. <laughs> she said, But you're a boy. Yeah, okay, but I want to be this man. <laughs> I have a question and it's real damn urgent. Why do my infant son's pants have full pockets and mine don't? Why? What's he got to carry? The keys to the patriarchy? Unions. Because it's very unlikely three spirits will appear and scare your boss into doing the right thing. Yup. <laughs> as a woman, I just want the same rights as a rattlesnake. Rattlesnakes may be found in this area. Give them distance and respect. My favorite thing about Greek mythology is how accepting it is of sexualities. You like guys and girls? Yeah, so do half the gods. You gay as hell? No one cares. Some god will probably come visit you anyway. You an arrow ace girl? Well, there's an asexual god who leads the equivalent of an immortal asexual street gang. You can join. Can we fetch you anything else tonight, mistress? Another blood offering, perhaps? Nay! Be gone, thralls! Leave me to my evil and sexy affairs! Since Joanne filed a report against my shop and made it so that I cannot access my income for the next 45 days, I designed a sticker in her honor. 50 cents from each one sold will directly benefit trans women of color in need. I hope she likes it. It's transphobia, not transphobia. <laughs> a fun history fact I like to tell everyone I meet. It's that in pre-Christian Europe, transgender and gender non-conforming people were often spiritual leaders. Magic was considered inherently gender. So someone with access to both masculine and feminine energies was considered inherently more powerful. While Christianity kind of crushed that, it stuck around in folklore. That is why witches like the Weird Sisters, Morgan Le Fay, and Muter Gothel were described as imposing bearded women, and masculine characters like Rumpelstiltskin, Merlin, and sometimes the devil himself were described as short, high-voiced men. I really like that. <laughs> and that's a perfect place to end today's video. Thank you everybody for coming by and subscribing. And by subscribing to the channel, you officially become roommates. And we share a Netflix password now. <laughs> and that means YouTube can't legally evict you. Very cool. <laughs> All right, now that the video's over, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> All right, my beardos and weirdos. We'll see you in the next one, where we take it one topic at a time. Remember, feed your inner demon. She's beautiful. <laughs> All right, roll that outro. Okay. <laughs> <Boop>. <laughs> Get the heck out of here. <laughs>